Today guys, we are taking a look at one of the biggest sneaker releases for the entire year. I mean, damn, enter a quote about patience or something, because if you held off and you didn't buy the originals over the past five years and didn't pay a grand, you got another shot at retail. Now before we go get in too excited about this pair of sneakers, there are some things that you do need to know that may disappoint you, but of course we're gonna get into all of that and more, so let's break them open, let's break them down. Today we're taking a look at the Yeezy 350 Beluga Reflective. Right, so let's take a look at this box. Uh, nothing has changed. I mean, it's still the same Yeezy 350 box. You got 350 on the top. You got Boost on the side. But let's pull them open and let's take a look at today's sneaker, guys. And I gotta say, I'm super excited about it. I've been anticipating this one for a while. So here we go. The Yeezy 350 Beluga Reflective. Oh man, these things are good looking. And I guess I wanna say I've never had the original, so this is like the first time I've ever had these in hand. I mean, this sneaker is like one of the early icons for Yeezy brand in terms of the 350 line. This is up there with the breads and the zebras. It's a really important and good looking pair of sneakers. And these things coming back here in 2021 is just a real testament to show you guys how Adidas and Yeezy brand handles their restocks. Like they are not afraid at all to just re-release some of their most iconic colorways of their sneakers. I mean, we saw last year, I think with the breads, we saw the zebras countless of times, the wave runners, and now the belugas. However, it all seems great, it all seems amazing. Adidas taking the profits away from the resellers who've been holding on to those sneakers and then they just restock them. But let me tell you guys, Adidas didn't forget about their bag because they hiked the price on these. These loaded up on the Adidas Confirmed app for 220 pounds here in the UK, and I believe out in the US they're $240. So an extra 20 for you guys out in the US and an extra 40 pounds for us here in the UK, it's no joke. Now, I hope this isn't a permanent thing moving forward with Yeezy 350s. I kind of just feel like Adidas is doing it because they know people are going to be buying this sneaker regardless of the price increase we're still gonna be buying this sneaker. I mean, they know how high the demand is for this pair of shoes, and I guess they just wanna capitalize on that, maybe make some extra money. Either way, like I said, they have loaded up on the Adidas Confirmed app, and there are actually plenty of raffles all available for you guys to go and enter. They dropped this upcoming weekend on Saturday, December the 18th, so yeah, I recommend you guys to go and get entering up because you don't wanna miss this one. Now, while I'm talking about the bad news, I might as well just get it all off my chest, tell you guys the bad news now before we get into the good stuff. Potential delays are looking likely for this pair of sneakers. I've already seen plenty of different retailers all mention that they only received a smaller amount of stock of these than originally anticipated. Now if this ends up being the case and there are delays of this pair of sneakers, I do imagine Adidas would do a bunch of restocks because originally these were rumored to be stocked at almost a million pairs.
Okay, you got all that. Those are the kind of big things that you need to know straight away. So let's talk about this sneaker. And I guess first off, I want to say this is probably my favorite colorway of the Yeezy 350. It's uh, one that kind of got away from me. It's one that I've always liked, but I just never wanted to pay that resale. The gray base mixed with that highlighter orange just looks so good together. And of course, it's not just a solid gray base. It's a very complex mixture with that zebra pattern of a darker and lighter gray. You can also see dotted in with the zebra pattern a bunch of little orange knits which just makes the sneaker look so cool I really do like this colorway now obviously the main thing that is different from this pair of sneakers to the original that released back in 2016 is the reflective knit that's been woven into the upper of this sneaker that reflective knit is mainly just woven into the stripes that you see on the side so that kind of zebra pattern that is on I guess mainly the medial side that's where you find that reflective knit so it does look pretty cool when you hit it with the flash but obviously without the flash it just looks like a regular pair of belugas. I don't even think you'd be able to tell. Was like the beginning of the removal for the pull tab so no pull tab on the back of here it's just a plain stitching that you find but again still all of the same kind of things that you would find on a Yeezy 350 that you've come to know and you've come to love you got the cross stitching moving up the center of the sneaker you got the rubber three stripes on the back of the sock liner and of course the squishy encased boost that makes the Yeezy 350 a comfort king again it's everything you've come to love about the 350 with an iconic colorway in the knit of this orange stripe, you've got the SPLY-350. Now, if you're wondering about sizing on these, have they changed it up? Uh, well, the quick answer is no, it's still the same as any other Yeezy 350. So for me personally, I still go a half size up. So if you're someone who owns a lot of 350s, go with the same size that you normally go with. However, if you've never tried a pair of 350s on, go a half size up. But yeah, that is pretty much everything you need to know about the upcoming Yeezy 350 Beluga Reflective. And I guess we can keep expecting more Yeezy restocks of their most iconic colorways in the future. Either way, guys, let me know what you think of these down in the comment section. Are you going for these? Are you going to try and grab a pair if you are? Good luck. But again, thank you so much for coming through, hanging out with me for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one, but until then.